Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is something really exciting and I know it's only the end of July, but it's a fall haul. So I have some Bath and Body Works stuff. I have a few things from Dollar Tree and then a few other miscellaneous things, but basically it's like a little bit of a pre-fall haul. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep watching. So the first thing I have are three Bath and Body Works candles. I ordered these online last week when they had their $10 off sale, which actually is going on right now too. Um, may not by the time I'm putting out this video, but I'm sure they'll do it again in a few weeks So the first one that I want to show you guys, which is actually I think my favorite. I don't know yet I haven't smelled all of them, but this is a online exclusive and it is champagne apple and honey So this is the packaging is like a light pink with these beautiful leaves And this was a body care. It's been back a few years. It's back again this year but I had it last year and I really, really loved it. And let me tell you, it smells exactly like body care. So the notes on this are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. And really it's just like a fresh apple scent. It's definitely not an apple that you'd eat or like champagne. It's not anything like you drink. It really smells like sophisticated body care. It smells like body care, but it smells so good. Like just smelling this makes me think of fall last year when I used the body care and like this it smells so good. And then the lid I didn't show you guys is actually like a little sunflower. So the ones in this collection all have the same lid and I think it's really gorgeous and I'm excited to burn it. I really wanted an apple scent because I have some pumpkin candles already but I'm not quite ready for the pumpkin scents just yet. I tried it last week and it was too, too strong for me. So we're gonna start out with apple scents for the fall and then I'll transition into pumpkin. But speaking of pumpkin, the next thing I have is pumpkin donut shop. Now, the back to this one is just so cute. Look at how pretty. It's pink, so it's not necessarily like fall, but it's just gorgeous. And this one, I'm gonna tell you has no, I don't smell any pumpkin in it. The scent notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. And the candles in this collection have these pumpkin lids. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. Really cute. This one, I swear it smells so good. So it smells like, like bakery donuts. I definitely get the powdered sugar. Like not a sprinkling, like this whole thing is covered in powdered sugar. Like it smells like those powdered sugar donuts you get from the gas station. Like that's what it smells like but maybe homemade version of that because I get really, really strong bakery scent. But I get no pumpkin whatsoever. Maybe a little bit of like cinnamon, but no pumpkin in this one. So this one's just like a really good, nice sweet scent. And if you guys know me, you know that I love bakery sweet scents. So this one's gonna be really, really good. And then the last one I'm really not so sure about, it is pumpkin peanut brittle. Now, don't get me wrong, the packaging is just stunning. Look how cute. I really, really like the packaging on this. Um, the scent notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. So this one, everyone says, smells like Ritz crackers with peanut butter on it. But when I smell mine, I get some like perfume kind of notes. I don't know if it's because I had a bad batch or something, but okay, I'm really confused because now it's a little more Ritz cracker than it was before, but I think I am gonna go in store either next weekend or the week after and smell it in store and see just like if it smells any different than the one that I have because I might've just gotten a bad batch, but I do have like a little bit of a floral scent in this one. Like I don't know, it's just weird. I can't put my finger on it, but. Yeah, so this one might be getting exchanged, but we'll we'll have to see. I don't, I don't know. That's really weird. When I first got it, I did definitely smell some floral in it, uh, but now it's not as strong. But there's definitely some in there. Next, we're gonna move on to Dollar Tree. So I did go to two different Dollar Trees on two different days. So one of them only had florals out and didn't have basically anything else. So this is the first one, the first store. The first two things are these picks. So I have this one that has the leaves, pine cone, berries. And then a pretty little sunflower, really, really pretty. And then this one has the leaves and a pumpkin, a pine cone and the berries. I'm planning on using these. I have like a little display downstairs um, in our dining room and by our coffee bar. So I'm planning on using them for that. 
And then I got these gorgeous little flowers. They're like orange, burnt orange, and like a lighter orange. They're just really, really pretty. And then kind of the same type of flower, but these are like a yellowy white. They're like a cream, but they're really gorgeous too. So I figured if I want to do something like neutral, I can use these. And then my mom really liked this, so I'm gonna incorporate it into something. Um, but these, I don't, I don't know what they're called exactly, but they look like feathers, but they're not. They're just like fabric, but they're really cool. And then I kind of like put these two together. It could be really cute in like a picture. Could you see it like coming out the back of a picture? I think it would be really cute. So this is the first haul. And the second store that we went to also had floral, but they had some of the like actual fall stuff. So. I got super excited. I didn't buy too much, but um, they didn't really have that much, but I kind of got, I went a little crazy. So the first thing is another floral thing, and this is the only floral that I got from there. It is the white version of the pumpkin pick, and it comes with green leaves and then green berries. So I don't know if you can tell if it'll focus on the pumpkin, but it's showing up very white, but it's kind of more of a cream white. Um, yeah, this is the true color of it, so. There's that, and then I got these really cute little pumpkins. So I have one in white and one in orange. So the orange one has some like gold paint on it and then it has this beautiful little uh, leaf. And then the white one, which is probably gonna throw off my <laughs> camera, um, is just plain white and brown stem and brown leaf. So these two are gonna be really, really cute. So the next thing that I got is this little pumpkin sign and they had this in a bunch of different colors but I like the orange the best. It says thankful, grateful, blessed. I just realized that the letters are touching right here and that's kind of annoying but it's okay, it's really cute. And then it has the little pumpkins. It's in white glitter, which I'm not very happy about but it's okay. I, I'm not gonna be moving it a lot so I don't plan on getting glitter everywhere, but it's just really cute for a dollar. You can't beat it. And then another sign with some letters and a pumpkin is this Autumn Blessing sign. They had a few different versions of this one, but I really liked the white back. And then another little bow. So this one was really cute too. And then I picked up these two guys. This one is Harvest Blessings. I still have the plastic wrap on it. Um, and it has a little cornucopia and it has like a wood border on it. So this would be really, really cute. Probably on the hutch for fall. And then this one says, hello autumn with little pumpkins on the side. And then it has like this orange print as the sides of it. So very, very cute. So that's everything from Dollar Tree. And then I have two little random things from Home Goods. So I have these two skinny syrups and me and my mom are obsessed with skinny syrups. So it's zero calories, zero sugar, and we add it to our coffee. I literally just do like a little small spoon of this every morning. Um, we have a few like caramel and like regular flavors, but they had some uh, fall ones out when I went to Home Goods the other day. So this one is pumpkin cheesecake and it's $3.99. This giant bottle lasts us like quite a long time too, since we only use so much. So pumpkin cheesecake and then pumpkin caramel. And I doubt my mom will be using these. She does not like the pumpkin flavors, but I really like them. I've already used pumpkin cheesecake um, yesterday and it was really, really good. So i um, very excited about those. But that is everything for my fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Are you looking forward to fall as much as I am? If you are, comment down below. Um, just tell me what you're most looking forward to. I think I'm looking forward to all my candles and definitely smelling them all. I think I am gonna go in stores to Bath & Body Works either next weekend, which is my birthday, or the weekend after, we'll see. But um, I do plan on going in and smelling everything in store and just like having a good little experience of it all. So that is everything for the haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.